Today we profile the golden bear, Jack Nicklaus. He won 18 major championships. He was the greatest golfer who ever lived. Simply, he was the GOAT. He was born in 1940 and raised in Columbus, Ohio. He intended to follow in his father's footsteps and become a pharmacist before pursuing a career in golf. He won two U.S. amateur titles in 1959 and 1961 while attending Ohio State University. At 21 years old, he was making $24,000 a year. That was pretty big money for a kid in those days. He made $12,000 selling insurance, $6,000 working for a slacks company, and $6,000 more playing customer golf for the slacks manufacturer. All he ever wanted to do was play competitive golf against the best players in the world. Nick Laus also served notice to the game's top players by finishing second at the 1960 U.S. Open with an amateur record score of 282. He turned pro in November of 1961. By the time Nick Laus came on the pro scene in 62, he was a stout, crew-cut dynamo of 215 pounds who was about to change the game with a mighty upright swing that allowed him to, to hit the ball high and generally with a slight fade, Nicklaus became the longest controlled driver in the game's history, as well as the most devastating long iron player. His technique and strength also allowed him to escape from high grass with more power and control than his rivals. Nicklaus quickly emerged as one of the most dominant players on the PGA Tour. Nicknamed the Golden Bear, he had the power to smash booming drives from the tee, but also demonstrated an impressive touch on the green and seemingly impenetrable nerves. Nicklaus won his first U.S. Open title in 1962, claimed his first Masters Tournament and PGA Championship the following year. In 1966, he nabbed the only major title missing from his collection by winning the British Open. In 1976, he founded Muirfield Village in his hometown of Columbus, Ohio, and started the Memorial Tournament. He says, quote, probably what meant more than most of my majors was winning the Memorial in 1977. It was our second year of the tournament. I'm picking up trash and cigarette butts and putting them in my caddy's pockets and organizing this, organizing that, and still won the tournament too. I'm very proud of that. The Golden Bear won six Masters tournaments, five PGA championships, four U.S. Open titles, and three British Opens for a record 18 major championships. Jack played in a record 154 consecutive major championships for which he was eligible, from the 1957 U.S. Open to the 1998 U.S. Open. Here's his record in the majors. On the left side, you see the four majors each year. The Masters, the U.S. Open, the Open Championship, PGA Championship. Next are the number of times he won each of those majors. Then the number of times he came in second and the number of times he came in third. Between winning, coming in second, and placing third, 46 majors. Friends, there's only four majors a year. That meant basically for 12 years he came in first, second, or third in every major. A record that will never be done. The Golden Bears' last major title may have been his most memorable. Beginning the final round of the 1986 Masters, 
four strokes behind leader Greg Norman, the 46-year-old Nicholas surged to a sizzling six under 30 back nine to don the green jacket for a record sixth time. His legend was built with 120 professional tournament victories worldwide. Are you ready for this? His career official tour earnings totaled $5,700,000. He was elected to the World Golf Hall of Fame in 1974. Nicklaus branched out into other business endeavors while still competing as an active player, notably taking a serious interest in the creation and design of golf courses. His company, Nicklaus Design, has developed hundreds of courses across more than 35 countries. Along with his wife, Barbara, he established the Nicklaus Children's Healthcare Foundation and dedicated the Nicklaus Children's Hospital in West Palm Beach, Florida in 2004. He and Barbara have raised hundreds of millions for their children's hospitals in both Columbus, Ohio and Florida. In 1978, Sports Illustrated named him its Sportsman of the Year. In 2000, he received the Payne Stewart Award in its inaugural year along with Byron Nelson and Arnold Palmer. In November 2005, he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President George W. Bush, the first athlete to be so honored. No name is more synonymous with greatness in the sport of golf than the name Jack Nicklaus. And no single person has changed the face of the sport more than Jack Nicklaus. The player, the designer, the philanthropist, and the goodwill ambassador. A few quotes. Resolve never to quit, never to give up, no matter what the situation. Believe in yourself. Never, ever give up. Always think of the positives. Life lessons are learned playing golf. It's all about trust. Be true to yourself. Do something you enjoy. Managing yourself is just as important as managing the course. Confidence is the most important single factor in this game. And no matter how great your natural talent, there is only one way to obtain and sustain it. Work. Sometimes the biggest problem is in your head. You've got to believe you can play a shot instead of wondering where your next bad shot is coming from. The biggest rival I had in my career was me. I couldn't control Arnold Palmer, Gary Player, Tom Watson, or Lee Trevino. The only person I could control was me. Success depends almost entirely on how effective you learn to manage the game's two ultimate adversaries, the course, and yourself. I don't believe in luck, not in golf anyway. There are good bounces and bad bounces, sure, but the ball is round and so is the hole. If you find yourself in a position where you hope for luck to pull you through, you're in serious trouble. My life and role as a husband and a father far eclipse anything I could have accomplished as a golfer. In February of 2023, he wrote me his philosophy of life. I believe the most important personal philosophy by which I tried to live while I was playing golf was to always put my family first and golf second. This helped me keep things in perspective and everything else just fell right into place. In golf and in business, I learned early on that an endeavor is not worth pursuing if you don't give it your all and strive for excellence. I have always had an extremely strong work ethic and to this day, I try to be the best in everything I do. When I was playing golf, I felt that the more I played and the more I won, the better I was getting. Winning breeds winning. Whether you are a professional athlete a golf course designer, or a salesperson, 
the philosophy should be the same. There is no substitute for hard work. While that may mean different things to different people, it is still the same approach no matter what you do in life. I wish you all the best for success in all you do. Sincerely, Jack Nicholas. That's the story of Jack Nicholas. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy these stories of inspiration and hope, please like, subscribe, and or share them with family and friends. Until we meet again, please remember, with God, anything is possible. Spoke.